Welcome back. I've just taken a huge risk buying this E92 M3 from British Car Auctions. They've literally just delivered it on a lorry. They fired it up. Listen to that V8, it sounds unbelievable. They've popped it on the drive here and in today's video, we're gonna be finding out how I got the car so cheap. And with a little bit of help from you guys, hopefully we can determine what is actually wrong with the car. Okay, now BCA have said there's a few problems. They've said they've got brake pedal pressure issues, you've got engine vibration, and they said the car's been modified. Now we'll go into the engine vibration and brake pedal pressure problems in a minute, but let's just have a little look over the car and try and find out what these vehicle modifications are that British car auctions have said. Okay, now I know British car auctions have said there's a few things wrong with this car, but let's have a little look around the car and look what they mean by vehicle modifications. So follow me here. Maybe you guys can help me out with this in the comments. I think the car's been lowered. That looks a little bit modified to me. It looks a bit lower than normal. This is not the competition spec. It is just a standard one. It's not a facelift. It's a 2009 model and it's got 50,000 miles in it. So it's very low miles. I don't, I think it's been lowered. As you can see on the front, follow me around here. We've got the splitters on the front there, the carbon fiber, they are genuine carbon. So they're not cheap ones. That's quite cool. And then on the back, I can see that obviously you've got this carbon fiber here, the spoiler on it. Standard exhaust, everything else looks pretty standard. So pretty sure it's been lowered. But yeah, like I said, in the comments, help me out. Now follow me into the interior of the car because that's obviously very important as well. Nothing's been modified in here. It's standard interior, standard wheel. The seats aren't very polished. So, you know, it says it's got 50,000 miles. That is more verification about the miles when I start looking at the interior of a car. We can see that the wheel's not very polished. It's looking good. Okay, now we've done a little visual inspection of all the modifications we think is on the car. Let's have a look into this engine vibration. So that means firing it up, and I know you guys all wanna hear this thing because V8s sound fantastic when they fire up, especially E92 M3s on cold start. <laughs> yes, you cannot beat that sound from those exhaust manifolds. Listen to that exhaust pipe. It sounds unbelievable. All right, very strange this, because there is no engine vibration. I've literally just started up, the engine's freezing, so I'm not gonna rev the hell out of it, but we'll give it a slight rev. <laughs> but there's no vibration, it feels absolutely fine. Gearbox is nice, feels solid. I'm not sure. I reckon we should take it for a little drive, come on. Okay, so very strange. The, uh, the engine management light isn't actually on anymore which is odd. Um, so I'm hoping it could be an intermittent fault, but let's take it for a little spin down the road and see, uh, see if anything comes up on the car or anything like that. I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't, but I was gonna take this to my friend who's just started his own company. Um, he's a BMW specialist. He's worked at BMW for like 15 years, so he was gonna have a look over it. He's still going to, that's gonna be in another video. Uh, but for now, let's just see what's wrong with this. Brake pedal pressure feels absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with this brake, you know. It absolutely feels absolutely fine. So this is so strange. This can happen sometimes with British car auctions. They can say that cars have got things wrong with them because they've got a little fault, but really, there might not be. Um, this is looking good though. Now this is very strange, and it could mean I've got myself an absolute bargain here because there is nothing wrong with this car right now. The, there's no engine management lights, but there definitely was an engine management light because a minute ago when the guy delivered it, it was on and it's gone off. So it could be an intermittent fault. We will get it plugged in, but let's just appreciate the V8 for now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> yes. You cannot be a manual V8 A92 M3. You just cannot. This is not gonna review the car yet though. We're gonna do that in another video, but First drive is fine, there's no engine vibration, there's nothing wrong with the brake pedal, so it seems like we've got a good deal. All right, let's summarize this. So I paid 13.6 for the car. I was up in Edinburgh, so that was 500 pound delivery charge. So that leaves us at 14.1, and there was the fees. So overall, we were at 14.7 to buy this car. So the auction went for 13.6, and it owes me 14.7. Now let's discuss what may have put off potential buyers and as why I've got it so cheap, because that is cheap, because these are selling for quite a lot of money, especially with this miles. Um, now, what we've covered in this video, I think we've discovered that the reason being is just because these faults that British Car Auctions said the car had weren't actually as bad. There's no engine vibration, which I think would have made people think maybe like the bottom end's gone on the car or something like that, so they've steered away from it. 
the service history was a little bit iffy, you know, there's only four services, but in my head I'm thinking, well, three owners on this car, the first owner's definitely had it serviced by main dealer, so I'm gonna call the main dealers and find out where the service is and that, the running in service and stuff like that. The second owner would have bought the car because it's low miles and looked after it, and then the third owner would have done the same. No one bought, you know, a, a 10, 15 year old car that's got 30K on it to go and put 100K on it. They just don't, because it would have been expensive. They've looked after it. And you can just tell the interior. Like, look in the back there. That is just absolutely immaculate. You know, this red leather is so nice. As I said before, the steering wheel's not polished up. It's been very well looked after. And I just think those few things that British Car Auctions have said put potential buyers off. Um, so now it's up to us in this series. We will be doing more videos on this car, of course. Um, I'll be doing the one where we take to my BMW specialist friend who's just set up his own company. I can't wait to introduce you to him and show you everything great that he's going to be doing now with BMWs. He is like the guru. He knows everything about them. He's a senior technician at BMW for a long, long time. Um, and we're going to literally get the car on a ramp and go over everything, find out all the bits and bobs on this car that's wrong. But on this just first little drive then, the gearbox is tight, the steering wheel's tight, there's no rattles, the car is solid. I'm very, very happy. Um, so maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think this engine light could be, because it was on, um, and there was a couple other things on as well. There was a tire pressure sensor and stability control. So that's what we saw when the guy took off the lorry, but then when we just went for a drive, then it's all gone. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you can let me know. Drop some comments in the box below. I love chatting to you guys. I love all the comments we've had on the motorbike videos I've done. I've really enjoyed it. It literally is so fun just doing all these videos, chatting to you about your experiences. So let me know everything you think about this car and what you think it could be. Also, another thing I noticed, the exhaust is actually quite loud. It like pops and bangs a little bit. Could there be something modified in the exhaust, maybe? We'll probably find out more when we get it on the ramp and plug it into the computer. Um, so for now, that is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, if you want to follow the journey with this car and the future of my YouTube channel, um, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.